Hi, welcome to the Daily Word and Prayer. It is Wednesday, August 5th, and I'm so happy you could be here today. So today we're just going to jump right into it. Um, the reading today is from Matthew, the 15th chapter. And it is, um, you'll know this story, so let's get into it. It's chapter 15 of the Gospel of Matthew, verses 32 through 39. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way. His disciples answered, Where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied. And a few small fish. He told the crowd to sit on the, down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, and when he gave thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples, and they in turn to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And afterwards the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was 4,000 men, besides women and children. After Jesus had sent the crowd away, he got into the boat and went to the vicinity of Magad Magadan. Here ends the reading. We could debate about, you know, if this really happened. Um, you know, really, did God feed 4,000 men and women and children? So it was probably thousands. And one thing we don't know, um, we don't know, but the whole point to me, I remember hearing these stories as a children, as a child, was that Jesus helped feed people. And that is a huge part of what it means to, to meet people where they are and give them help provide for their basic necessities. And um, that's what it means to love your neighbor. And I really remember that really powerfully as a little girl learning this in Sunday school. And I really, I do feel that our church, um, St. Lutheran First Presbyterian, really does focus on that. Um, especially when we had our feeding programs for all the COVID stuff happened. and. Um, and having to figure all that out. And, and I'm hoping that we can get back into it. I really do. Even if we have to keep um, social distancing and everything, we're going to figure this out together. But um, yeah, we are called to, to provide for our, loved, our neighbors, even those who are not our favorite people. And sometimes that's hard to realize. <laughs> so anyways, let's get into the prayer time. So let us pray. Dear God, you provide for us, and you provide so much in this world. There is enough to feed everybody and to clothe everyone, Lord. We just need to remember that and, um, and really focus on what it means to follow in your footsteps and listen to your teachings. Be with those who, who don't have any basic necessities right now or are suffering to get them and struggling. Be with those who are exhausted from working long hours, who are unemployed. Be with all those that we name out loud or silently in our hearts. We give you thanks, O oh God, and we lift up all those we name in this prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. All right, thanks for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow.